Today I would like to talk about the dairy milk and how seriously unhealthy it is for us humans. Today I will explain to you why dairy milk is the worst food on earth for the humans. Now we know that in America most of the food comes from animals. 70% of the American diet which we call SAD diet or standard American diet consists of dairy meat fish and eggs and we know that this diet leads to heart disease strokes cancer diabetes obesity and many other diseases as well and one of the main things we need to be concerned about is how the animal foods damage our blood vessels when we are born we are born with a lot of circulation a young person who is about 15 years of age has a lot of blood vessels in the body carrying blood circulation to all the tissues to supply the nutrition and oxygen oxygen and that person would have enough of these endothelial cells endothelial cells are the cells which cover your blood vessels and allow the blood to flow without any problems and a 15 year old person has enough of these cells to cover about six to eight full-size tennis courts and endothelial cells secrete nitric oxide and that nitric oxide keeps the blood cells from sticking together and allows the blood to flow without any problems also it keeps the blood vessels dilated and without any inflammation of the blood vessels now if you are an animal food eater if you take a lot of dairy and meat by the time you are 50 years old you will be left only with enough in endothelial cells to cover about 1.5 to tennis courts because of the continuous damage you do to your blood vessels due to your animal food diet we know that even if you got heart disease the best way to reverse your heart disease is to go on a diet without any animal food so this has been proven by a small study by 18 patients who had advanced heart disease followed up for over five years on plant-based whole foods diet with no processed foods that means no packeted foods with added preservatives and four of these 18 patients had improvement of the heart disease and 11 of the rest had no further progression of heart disease one patient was uh, lost to follow up and in one of the patients there was remarkable reopening of a blocked blood vessel as shown in this angiogram done after the diet this is before the diet on the left side we also know that dairy and the meat intake is the main reason why people have such high incidence of breast cancer today a woman in Kenya where people don't take dairy food and meat has 82 times less risk of developing a breast cancer than a woman in USA in USA today one in three women actually get breast cancer it's very alarming and a large amount and also prostate cancer has become very high in America as well as in countries where people eat a lot of dairy and meat for example in 1978 in Japan only 18 people died of prostate cancer today I'm doing this recording from Japan one of the first things you notice is that Japanese people are quite lean and healthy compared to the Americans who are fat and obese and that's because their diet does not have a lot of animal foods and in USA during the same year of 1978 38,000 people died from prostate cancer but the population in USA is only double the population of Japan so here's a very uh, good example of what the animal food does to your health there was a landmark study done in India originally and then repeated in several countries where it proved that in animals who were given milk protein up to 20% of their diet actually developed cancer in the presence of a carcinogen whereas when you cut down that percentage to like 5% these same animals actually cured the cancer which started to grow today 
the doctors are not getting enough education about nutrition because the focus has been away from the nutrition and has been towards making money. Even in America, we know that lifespan of doctors are less than that of the rest of the people because doctors themselves know what to eat and how to be healthy. And we know our 125 medical schools in America, only 30 had a course on nutrition. And only few medical students would actually go to a lecture on nutrition. And so, on the average, a doctor obtained only 3 hours of education on nutrition. Therefore, the patients are not getting the proper advice on how to be healthy. And a lot of people, first thing they think about when a doctor tells them, don't eat any dairy, don't eat meat, is how am I going to get my protein? It's a myth that you need to eat animal foods to get protein. All of your protein can be found from a plant-based diet. In fact, some of the plant-based foods have more protein than animal-based foods. And here's a Bill Pearl who is a vegetarian at the age of 39 and won his last Mr. Universe title at the age of 41, which is two years later. And he maintains all his protein intake with just the vegetables and plant-based food. Scientific studies have proven that when an athlete stops eating animal foods and move on to a plant-based diet, they increase their stamina by 35%. And most of the time when people have high cholesterol, it's just a mere marker of high animal food intake. There are maybe a few cases where there's genetic problems with high cholesterol production in the liver. But most people yet have high cholesterol because they do eat too much of animal foods. For example, in America, the average cholesterol is 215. But in some places in China where people only eat and plant foods, the average cholesterol level can be as low as 90 and they are much healthy, they don't have any heart disease, strokes or cancer like the American people. Today drug companies sell billions of dollars worth of statin drugs to decrease cholesterol level. So cholesterol has been a big money maker for drug companies. So drug companies also fund the health, fund the nutrition education in most of the medical schools. So they make sure that nobody gets to know the secret of how to be healthy. And also, in countries where people eat plant food, there's no breast cancer to be heard of. Why? Because when you take plant foods only, your estrogen levels stay very low. And the girls who are on a diet like that usually attain their periods at the age of about 19 years. Whereas in countries where people take a lot of dairy and meat, the girls attain at the age of about 11 or 10. And Also, the blood of estrogen in plant food diet is only one third of that of a woman on a diet containing animal foods. And I must say that this, this is also true of the men. Men who eat a lot of animal foods have a high level of estrogen. In fact, sometimes even higher than a woman. And so therefore, we see a lot of impotence, sexual dysfunction in males because of this animal food diet. And that is in addition to the damage to blood vessels caused by the animal food. So when a woman who usually stay on a plant-based diet, there's no menopausal symptoms because they're not going to have a high level of estrogen to start with. So they don't go through the hot flashes, mood disturbances, what we call menopausal syndrome. So low lifetime exposure to estrogen is the main reason why breast cancer is very rare in the countries where people only eat plant-based food and they were much healthier. And diabetes. Now the diabetes is increasing alarmingly in America. One in three children are getting diabetes. And in a study which was done in 10 countries, the highest diabetic death rate was found in the countries, country with the highest animal food intake. And the lowest diabetic death was found in the country with the lowest animal food intake. So diabetes is not only caused by the sugar intake but also by the animal foods. And also we know that the high cow's milk intake increases the diabetes type 1. Type 1 is the worst kind of diabetes. For example, in Finland, where people drink a lot of milk, a child has a 36 times higher incidence of diabetes type 1 compared to Japan, where they don't drink much dairy food. Take, much dairy, uh, take dairy food such as milk, cheese, ice cream. 
you all get and so on. So now we know that today the diabetes type 1 is increasing at an alarming rate of 3% annually. So we know it's not caused by genes, it's caused by the environment, it's caused by the dairy foods mainly. And also we find that babies who are fed cow's milk has six times more diabetes type 1 than babies who are fed mother's milk. And therefore the Pediatric Association of America has recommended that children under 2 years should not be given any cow's milk. And how many doctors tell their patients about this. We also know that the milk is the main reason why people have weak bones and get osteoporosis. And in year 2000, researchers at San Francisco University looked at food patterns and the development of osteoporosis in 33 countries. It's a very large study. And they found that the country with the highest intake of animal foods actually had the highest incidence of osteoporosis. And the country with the lowest intake of animal foods had the lowest incidence of osteoporosis. So we know the reason why most people get breast cancer, prostate cancer, heart disease, strokes, diabetes and also osteoporosis is the dairy food intake and so uh, many other diseases which I have, have not mentioned here such as multiple sclerosis, degenerative brain disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, kidney stones and many many other diseases which cause us to die early are caused by dairy food. A lot well of people don't know animals. how cows suffer in a factory farm. Today most of the cows are brought up in factory farms and this is how they start their life. The little calf is brought and their horns are taken away without any anesthesia with a very hot instrument like this while they're shouting in pain. As you can see, so they start their life with severe pain. And most of us who drink milk don't think that these cows actually undergo any kind of suffering but you can see even at the very beginning they undergo severe torture which most people are quite unaware of that's not all after that their tails are broken off in spite of the recommendations from major organizations they break it off just with a very crude method by holding the tail with a clasp and turn it around without any anesthesia of course while the calf is suffering and shouting in pain and when you look at a lot of these cows you see a whole lot of diseases injuries and very unhygienic status and here's a cow with prolapsed uterus who was not given any medical veterinary help and allowed to die she died after two weeks of suffering and this is not uncommon to see the animals here's an animal with a severe wound and here's an animal with severe arthritis and here's another animal with severe deformity of the leg here's a serious wound extruding pus in fact not being treated and a lot of the cows are left and finally they fall to the ground they can they cannot even get up from the ground they were not given any veterinary help and they left alone and so after suffer like this they die away and here's another cow who was actually trying to get up here's another cow who has fallen and when they can't get up they actually try to get up and finally they die away and here's cows taken away for milking in very unhygienic areas and when the cow falls down somebody comes and hits the cow in the eyes in fact to try to get them up and push them towards milking areas and cows love their calves they are mammals and they love their babies just like we humans love our babies as soon as the calf is born the calf is dragged away while the mother is watching and that's the last time that cow will see her own child and she cries while this happens and in spite of that these calves are taken away just for meat and if they are male cows they are killed right away for calf meat which is very popular in America and if they are female cows they would go through the suffering the earliest so 
where their horns were taken out and the tails were broken and then they were fed in the factory farm and they become milking cows and as you can see here again the calf was taken away and they get really very sad and angry well the calf is taken away according to the workers the cow suffer just like a mother would if a child is dragged away from the mother and some of these calves who are very sad because they are separated from the mother died from the grief as you can see here there is a grieving calf who was gasping about to die and sometimes they just die away from the grief and the rest is killed here they are transported for milking and they were hit and they made to suffer with electric pods and a lot of this happened in a factory where there are thousands of animals in fact there are about 9 million cows today in USA who suffer like this to provide milk for the American population and they take transported they were not sometimes they were just pushed out of the vehicles they fall down and break their bones and they were not given safe environment even for that transport and this is how they hit little cows and this is the area and you can see how cows are in congested situations very unhygienic full of urine and feces which are not routinely cleaned and these are the cows who provide us milk and then we know that that milk is not safe it's full of bacteria and blood and pus and here's another situation where you see the unhealthy conditions of the uh, factory farm today 99% of the milk comes from factory farms just like this and this is just one example of it there are a lot of them you can see online if you search for it and here how the cows are sliding because of the dirty conditions of the floor and this is how they are lined up to take the milk the milk is taken by machines forcefully and they take about 80 pounds of milk pulled from the machine using these uh, vacuum like machines and here's a worker attaching these machines to the cow's udder when you force milk to come out like this it comes and causes injury to the udder and most of these mammals carry continuous mastitis so it pulls blood and pus together with the milk which is usually not even white it usually is pink and later on it's bleached before it's put out in the market and the cows are given this posilac injections which is the bovine growth hormone so they can produce this in enormous amount of milk every day we know a cow normally produces only about 6000 liters over a year period of year but here in factory farms they pull about 50,000 liters of milk every year and how long do these cows live if they are out in the open they live for 20-25 years happily but in factory farms they die from suffering in about 4-5 to five years if they are not dead by that time they are killed anyway and they're killed for their meat which is usually given to McDonald's, Burger Kings and so on we would eat them in our fast food restaurants so for anybody who doesn't think the cows suffer yes a lot of cows who just died from the suffering before they were killed and we, it's, it's good to know that these things happen so we know the truth about milk cows are very loving animals just like dogs and cats they are mammals they are very intelligent animals who could be our pets but here they are killed they go through suffering to provide milk for us and it's good that we all should know about this in addition to knowing how bad the milk is